everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today we're going to take a look at uh, the Evolution email client. Um, Evolution's been around for a while, it's the default mail client for GNOME. Um, and I previously tried it out uh, back in uh, what, version 3.10 or uh, 3.2, 3.4, I think. Um, I found it to be buggy, um, you know, really nice uh, interface, but uh, it, it just didn't work too well. Um, but with the, the release of um, GNOME 310, um, which I'm using here on the Ubuntu GNOME 1404, um, it looks like they've really ironed out all those kinks, the bugs are gone, everything's working like it should. Um, setup is a whole lot easier than it used to be so um, you know this I'm gonna do kind of a combination uh, review and how to set up uh, evolution so uh, you know let's uh, let's get this show on the road shall we all right let's start this out by uh, let's fire up evolution Now I've already got one email account set up on Evolution, but I'll go and I'll add another just so you can take a look, see what it looks like, uh, you know, the whole process and whatnot. Um, if you go here to Preferences, and uh, under Mail Accounts, click Add. Now, if this was the first time of running uh, Evolution, this Evolution Account Assistant would pop up to begin with. Um, just going to do uh... now for like Yahoo, Gmail, um, those sorts of, of um, uh, services. Evolution is able to find all the settings you need. So, you know, whereas in the past you would have to put in, you know, your server and, uh, you know, your encryption, uh, password, all that kind of stuff. Um, it automatically goes out, finds that stuff for you, puts it in for you. And all you will need to do is after you've got all that in, put in your password. And boom, you're done. That's it. Ready to go. Now, when you initially set this up, it takes a little bit of time for it to do its first uh, upload. So I'm gonna pause the uh, I'm gonna pause the video while it's doing that, and then we'll come back and uh, I'll kind of show you around uh, evolution. Okay, we're back. Took a little longer than I expected, but. Um, you know, we, uh, one, I got a ton of emails on that uh, on that Yahoo account. So, it, like I said, it takes a little while when you're first setting up. Um, you know, uh, you got uh, tons of emails, folders to set up, all that kind of stuff. So it takes a little longer first time. Uh, but also, we got some pretty bad thunderstorms rolling through the Cincinnati area right now, and uh, my internet connection conked out on me a couple of times. So, hopefully. Uh, I don't lose it again but uh, anyway that's all done we're set up ready to go so let's take a look at evolution here all right um, first thing that that just pops out to me is the the clean interface um, you know this is always something that the gnome team has done well is that you have got a good looking interface um, you know, if you compare it to like, say, Thunderbird, you know, Thunderbird's got a lot of, of um, function built into it, but I mean, it looks like something out of the 90s. Um, you know, the, the look really ha doesn't seem to have been updated in years. Um, so, you know, looking at this, it's a nice, clean, very good looking um, uh, interface. Um, as far as the layout goes, uh, pretty typical here. We've got on the left hand side a list of all of our folders, email accounts, all that kind of stuff. 
Um, right now we're in what's called classic view, which gives you an upper uh, email preview, and then whatever email you've selected will be shown down this lower pane. Now, personally, um, let me pull it up here. If you go up here to view, under preview, uh, switch to vertical view, it gives you three vertical columns, which I think it makes a whole lot more sense these days now that uh, widescreen monitors are the norm. You know, back in the day of the, the 4 3 uh, aspect ratio, the classic view made sense, but uh, uh, I think this is a whole lot better for today. Okay, like a lot of other uh, email clients, uh, Outlook, uh, Thunderbird, uh, so forth, Evolution is more than just an email client. It's more of a, uh, I guess you call it a desktop suite, in that you have your email, but you also have this contact manager, um, calendar, um, task manager, the memos. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, you know, nice thing is, you know, it's all there, all together. Um, you know, whereas, you know, uh, as much as I like the um, the Geary um, uh, email client, the if you want to use a calendar, you can Geary doesn't have an integrated calendar. Um, you know, and it uh, it's it really doesn't have a contact manager. It it has, um, it has a basically a saved email list of previous emails that you've used, but it's not you know a true contact manager. So, those are sort of the things that kind of help you know makes uh, the uh, you know a, a a email client like Evolution stand out against a real basic stripped down um, uh, client like Geary. Not that I've got anything to complain about with Geary. Um, I use it on my laptop. It's the it's what I use when I'm away from home. Um, just because it's simple, easy to use, fast, all that kind of stuff. Um, but Evolution gives me all the other. Uh, uh, functions that I'm looking for. Okay, speaking of um, contacts, um, if you have, uh, oh, let's say you've, you're coming from another another program and you've got a uh, like a B card file full of contacts. Um, or maybe you're bringing it home from you know your contacts from work or something like that. You can import those. Um, there's an import manager or wizard, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, you would do this uh, import single file, continue, um, and then you know, boom, there you can go and import you know vCard file, iCalendar file. Um, Outlook calendar or Outlook contacts, um, Mozilla contacts uh, from a previous version of Evolution, Outlook Express. I mean, you know, there's uh, the, there's a lot of options there. So um, um, you know, you can uh, you can update it and bring it in for uh, to to work with your uh, your uh, new Evolution installation. Um, Now, while looking at the emails, um, something you may have noticed is that the images are not popping up. Now, there, there's um, if you want to look at the images, there's two two ways to go. Um, one, if you come over here to view, you can click on load images, and it will load all the images for that particular email. Okay, if you go that route, it's only going to do that. It's only going to load the images for the email that you're currently looking at. If you want to by default um, load images for all of your emails you can do that. Um, if you go to your preferences, uh, mail preferences, HTML messages, uh, one you can select for showing animated images um, and then here under loading images never load load only in messages from contacts always load images from the internet 
um, you know, do whatever uh, you think is. But probably, you know, never load image is going to be the safest uh, security wise. Um, load images only messages from contacts that would be number two on the safety list and then at the bottom of the heap always load images that's one way uh, um, bugs are are downloaded to your computer but um, you know whatever works for you what I like here is that you have the option to do whichever works for you um, and while we're looking at the preferences you know you got Lots of other, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, options that uh, that you can do here. Um, so uh, you know, when when you're looking at, um, you know, comparing this to um, to other email clients, um, definitely way way more options than say Geary. Um, you're probably just about where uh, where um, uh, Thunderbird is as far as the number of options you have definitely don't have the huge massive plugin list that you have with Thunderbird um, but from what I'm seeing all the all of the evolution plugins which you know all the supported ones are, are pre-installed for you everything works um, unlike Thunderbird where you know you uh, you get a you pl a plug in and you're thinking okay is it going to work um, yeah they all work here um, now you know when uh, as I said at the beginning of this review you know uh, evolution used to be pretty buggy and there are problems with it, that sort of thing but uh, I think that uh, we've worked that out Well, I think that just about wraps it up on this uh, this little review of uh, Evolution. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, questions, comments, all that kind of good stuff, leave, uh, leave it down below in the comment section. If you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, videos. And uh, um, if you got any requests for... Um, you know anything you'd like to see me do a review on or how to do something that sort of thing uh, shoot me an email leave me a comment however you want to do it thanks a lot and uh, see you next video